How do we transform retirement homes with tech and compassion? You might have heard the phrase, age is just a number. So let's talk numbers. In 2012, the US Department of Health and Human Services did a study and found that 3.6% of everyone over the age of 65 was living in a retirement home. Now, 3.6% sounds small, but it's deceptive. As you get older, the chances increase that you'll end up in a nursing home. And let's take a look at the stereotypical nursing home. It's efficient. In fact, you might just think the word clinical applies. Maybe you think there's very little personality involved. Now, that's not to say the people who run or work in these facilities lack compassion. It isn't easy designing a facility that allows a staff to care for the elderly while simultaneously giving residents a sense of freedom, like they're still in control of their lives. Dr. Bill Thomas, who is an expert on geriatric care, has a particularly powerful story about this. Many years ago, he was the medical director for a nursing home in upstate New York. He says when he first arrived at the facility, he found it dull and boring, and the patients there were listless and withdrawn. He brought in some plants and animals the thought being that the residents could take care of these and that would improve their lives. He brought in cats and dogs and rabbits and a hundred parakeets and the transformation was amazing. Dr. Thomas says that the medication rates plummeted, as did the death rate. People were finding meaning in these activities and it improved their lives overall. Now, other experts suggest that we look into intergenerational housing. In other words, instead of building facilities for the elderly, let's build ones that lots of generations can use and enrich each other's lives in the process. You may have heard of a senior citizen center that partnered with a preschool. The residents spend their time playing with kids or reading to them or just visiting, and the positive impact has been remarkable. Technology is also transforming how we care for our senior citizens. Wearable sensors have changed the game, allowing caregivers to keep tabs on people when they're not right there in the same room with them. And we're seeing personal care robots get more sophisticated. Some can just alert you if it's time for you to take your medication. Others are companion robots that help alleviate a sense of loneliness and anxiety. And there are other technologies that are also improving senior citizen care, like autonomous cars. It's not just one of my favorite subjects, it's also a potential solution for the elderly. Autonomous cars could give them the freedom they need to extend that independence indefinitely. Now that has a positive impact on both emotional and physical well-being. I get really inspired by all of this because I honestly think that one way to judge a society is how they treat their elderly population. And I want that story to be an amazing one. I've got a question for all of you this week. How do you think we could best help the elderly in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. Thank you, Toyota, for making this show possible. And finally, check out these other amazing videos about our future right over here.